Hey, this is Keith from Every Time I Die, and we are celebrating the 10-year anniversary of Taking Back Sundays Where You Want to Be. If I could describe Taking Back Sundays Where You Want to Be in a few words, I would definitely say it was a game changer. I was in the fifth grade when that record came out. I remember being stoked, but I actually heard uh, the record before that, and I, I got me into them. It was the one with, like, cute without the E, just, like, straight emo stuff. And when I saw them, like, huge, they exploded. I was, I was completely insane. And I got it for my 14th birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. I can't believe 10 years passed that fast. Personally, for me, I would like to say that uh, that was the record that introduced me to uh, Adam's lyrical style more than anything else. Uh, I remember it sticking out because he was very cynical and personal and clever. And I thought that uh, there was definitely something in common with the way that I wrote my lyrics and the way that he wrote his lyrics. As I kept hearing the songs and like seeing them live, I saw them live shortly thereafter. And I remember I was like, oh. Like oh, yeah. it just makes sense. I mean, you could just tell. It's like this band is massive, but it's gonna just keep getting bigger and bigger. I, I actually remember being on- in California. Uh, being on vacation, um, just asking a bunch of bunch of friends, my, my brother and stuff, and we uh, bought the record. We bought the record, and we all had gotten the record in, in advance because it because uh, it leaked, and and don't tell them that. And and you wouldn't you wouldn't listen to it uh -uh. until the record came out. So we went to uh, to Tower Records at midnight on, on Monday before it came out and bought it, and that was the first time the that first time we I heard listened it. to it. And I was not let down. <laughs> I have always been a huge Taking Back Sunday fan since Tell Your Friends. And it's one of the bands that, um, one of the few bands that I can say, um, they had an album that I just absolutely loved and then had a follow-up album that, you know, matched it, if not even, you know, I, I may have even loved it more. The first time I kind of heard the record and Take Back Sunday in general, um, I remember actually being in, I think I was freshman year of high school, uh, we were going on a field trip to do something for like my photography class and I remember listening to it the entire day on that field trip running around taking pictures so it's kind of cool that it has this like imagery in my head it's kind of wild to think that it's been 10 years but I don't know for us it's 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 very inspiring it's very like motivational that record specifically was a very big record for me I just instantly fell in love and I was like this band is gonna be one of my favorite bands for a very long time it's kind of funny that uh, it's the, the 10 year anniversary of that because uh, the last time we did Warp Tour was in 2012 and they were on Warp Tours well and they were the one band I made sure to watch every single day and uh, yeah it's a it's a cool record and I still listen to it to this day ten years later. Take Max Sunday is definitely you know on my list of, of top ten favorite bands of all time seeing them live and watching Adam hang from rafters and everybody on stage doing their thing is it's, it's unbelievable. Congratulations on making it ten years Take Max Sunday. I